I picked the name Nara because it represents a powerful woman. It represents a queen, a lioness. And I want my girls to be powerful. I want my girls to walk out the street feel like a lioness, confident, strong, empowered. This is something that I've always wanted to do. It's something you feel, I need to do something, I need to do something to change my society. Yes, I will not, I'm not be able to change the whole society, but I can do that where I am, like in athletics, just start there. could go to races and I would see other girls that you could see them like they're scared. The stories you hear them, you see them on TV of girls being abused by their coaches, being abused by the, the people they trust. And it's not just in athletics, it's something that happens in the whole society. Like women are just like property. You're my wife, you can do whatever you want. Girls in the athletics that cannot make their own decisions. They are just treated like tools, go around, make make money, bring it home, you're just an adult or a mom. There's nothing else you're good for. So actually thought maybe I should start my own camp and show these girls, be with them day, every day, support them, empower them, like actually do it. And that's how we came like, well, this is what I've always dreamed about doing. I start my own camp and start and help girls. Yeah, we are friends, we are sisters, but we came from different places. The first time I came to Nala, it was last year. I just wanted to come to camp, like just having a camp to train and sharpen my career, just to be like my mentor, Mary Ngugi. Mary told, told us that when you are, when you are here, just interact with others like your sister. Yeah, we are Frederick, so they don't fear to tell me anything. We joke, if they are in any danger or any problem, they are able to go to it and they come to me and tell me, push this is and this, so I have to handle it carefully, so they don't fear. When the girls are in their only girls' camp, they get to express themselves the way they want. They, they can be able to enjoy life as a girl, yeah? And uh, they have no one who is judging them, so they can do whatever they are doing. They are happy. They are happy when they are in here. They're growing us to be great people in life. They wish us the best to be great people. And also champions, of course. So I pick up two sets of five times four hundred. So five hundred tano, you only set moja. We need these girls to see other women empowered. We need these girls to see a female coach, not just females can only be matron, females can only be cooks and cleaners, they can be more than that. But if they can't see it, they can't be it, they can't dream to be that. And so when we are doing this, when we are empowering these women, it's not just for them, it's for these girls to actually see I can be something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
Today was a, a, I'd say it was quite a tough workout because there was a specific 1500 workout and a specific 800 workout. So it's a bit hard and I can, I can imagine how painful that was because well, I go through that every single day. And for them being that young to be able to push through that, it's, I think it's because they know really what they want and they want to change their lives. They want to change uh, the lives of their families back at home and they know they have to push through the pain. Uh, I always remind them it's not supposed to be easy. If you're feeling easy, you know you're not working hard. It's supposed to hurt and they understand that and they're willing to hurt. So yeah, it's, it's, it's really amazing to see such young girls be able, be able and be willing to go through that. We have girls from every corner of Kenya, which is really amazing because we're seeing girls from over the world. There's so much talent in Kenya. There's so much girls in need of help, but they don't have a place to be. But now that when the parents see that this camp is just girls, this camp has women looking after our girls, our girls would be, it's more, they care more, not just about athletics. They care about empowering our girls. They care about school and safeguarding our girls. It doesn't matter how far you are, as strong as the parent knows that this, my daughter will be safe. Gali, cabbage, Gali is strong and it's good for runners because it provides a lot of energy. Yeah. It's my first experience to be an element coach and it's so helpful to us because they are protecting us from many things outside there and we are glad because they are taking care of us. They are making us to be like ourselves, be disciplined, we have good self-esteem. Yeah, we are so safe in the hands of these women. Et <laughs> Cynthia to me, to be honest, she's more like a daughter to me, not just a member of NARA. I, I, I love her and she makes me so emotional. When we found her, she was so young when she joined camp, but it's amazing for me to see how she's grown as a person. Uh, she's doing so well in school, she loves school and she's so disciplined and she takes her training. Sometimes I feel like I need to run from Cynthia. She's 14, but she's so committed and she's, she jokes with everyone. She makes everyone smile. She makes everyone laugh. I can't even explain it because when I see them walking, they're like shy. You can see they're scared. I, and, and then after one week, two weeks, they're like confident. They're walking with their head, head held high. They're, they're different, their faces, they're bright. You can see the glow in their eyes. They're laughing at camp. It's, it's just amazing. I, I can't even, I don't even have the words to explain it, to be honest. You'd, ha you'd have to see it to understand it.
when I see them come together and become family and train together, going to school together, joking, you can see them like braiding each other's hair, like helping each other even on the track. That's the point. That's why we have Nala, to make a team, to make girls who care for each other. We love each other so much. We look at each other. We encourage each other. We support each other. Like Our aim is to make this camp a great camp and to produce great people. What I want and I dream for the girls is I know they all have other athletics. I know the reason, the main reason they are here at NARA is because they have athletics. I would like to see them achieve their goals. I would like them to to see them go out there, conquer the world, represent Kenya in the Olympics. But I also know like it's not all of them that were gonna make it in athletics. And that's why we support them in school so that they will graduate. They can graduate well with good grades and they can pursue their education. They can go out there and get jobs. So if they don't make it in athletics, I know they will make it out there and they'll be they will live calm as empowered women, women who can make decisions for themselves, women who know what they want and they can go there, out there and inspire other girls and other women to do the same.